Hey everybody, this is Rhino, and we're back to Dracula's Legacy. Let's continue. So we had to skip a puzzle last time. I'm still a little sore about that. It's just did not make any sense at all uh, what it was trying to get me to do. And I hope that's the last time we run into this. We've got a hidden object game to start with, so we'll go ahead and do that. Uh, because we skipped a puzzle, the... There is now a zero chance or close to zero chance in case the game bugs out that I would get all the achievements. That kind of sucks, but it's not really worth it either to bang your head against a wall uh, trying to figure out uh, some obscure answer to a puzzle that seems to have multiple answers to a puzzle, yet only one is accepted by the game. Uh, let's see. Looking for a glued photo too at some point. I see the glue, I don't see the photo. We're building this figurine. And we're looking for an hour hand. Which, there it is. A mask. A frog. This cupboard is going to be empty by the time we're done. A filled syringe with this hmm. and glued photo glue photo hmm. we get the clock hand so it's for hidden object games I kind of like that but it is kind of crazy too the to when you're done with a a scene have almost nothing in that scene because you've clicked on everything uh, it doesn't feel like there's enough of a red herrings going on take that coil spring uh, feels like so put a spring in there that's an interesting way to open a thing now I have the fountain key, so we have to go really far back now. There's nothing else that I know where it uses, where to use it. We also had some ridiculousness in, in the sense that we burnt metal bars with a magical, like, flame-spewing dragon. Of course, I guess that just takes us even into some more realm of magic. We've already seen magic though, so I guess you have to take it. Part is missing, and scope net. That's gross. Bleeding from the eyes. Uh, statue. All over the floor. And let's see. There's a secret passage behind the plate. Can't move it aside. It'll probably be easier to blow it up. Really? Just, just tell me directly, I suppose. I guess that's better than having me wander and wander around trying to figure out what to do. This opens this. Which then gives me a lighter, which then, does the lighter work with that? Nope. So I'm going to take this out of that at some point and blow it up. We have a scoop net to get, catch a butterfly. What else is there to click on? Ah, handle. Take the handle. That's what I missed. Then come over here and stick the handle in. I don't think it would work quite like that, but whatever. Now we have a moth. What do we do with the moth? Put them in the flower? Hmm. So you have this jar and I still don't know what we're doing with the jar. I still don't know what we're doing with the moth. 
sub. Is there anything else in this area to click on? I'm playing in advanced mode. I may have to switch back to to easy mode just to show me what I'm missing. Let's see, and it doesn't feel like there's anything back here at all. Feels like that section is done for. And I don't think there's anything here. We've used hints all over the place, so it wouldn't be a real problem to just go give me a hint and tell me which way ah uh, now I, I realized it you take the moth you put it with the spiders no you don't interesting or you take the moth and you put it with this spider put it with that spider one large spider I have to capture it use the jar to capture it Jar with a spider. I suppose that makes sense. Now this. Uh, see that doesn't even. No, that that's ridiculous. I had a real jar with a real spider, and it somehow turned into a spider emblem. Now this is a puzzle that I played a cell phone game of this puzzle once and it was pretty fun it's just don't let the lines cross which slowly takes a little bit of effort but not too much really you just have to adjust things let's see let's see that's gonna be an issue that means this has to go here. So this and this and that. Hmm. That means this has to go up like this. I'm a little surprised that the game engine would work for that dragon key and dynamite just handed to me by the way not even showing me a scene to pick those items up I think they they were running out of of time to finish this game dragon key an actual animation showing it it twisting the thing off interesting so the only thing left is the mirror that's kind of a question mark. Then we have this tomb key, which I assume we'll use later. Dynamite and lighter. Candle wick is too short for safety. I need to make it longer. All right, fine. Flammable fluid and light. You can find the Lord of the Vampires in this dungeon, but be careful. He is guarded by a magical being that is half creature and half machine, and invisible to mere mortals. Well, that's quite a machine monster you've got there, invisible, half machine, half mo monster. Wow. Uh, kind of an exaggerated amount of effort necessary to blow that up. Yeah, we haven't seen him walk in an area in a long time. We So we've, at this point, probably could very easily have forgotten what the main character looks like. I'm trying to use the mirror. Can't pass this invisible monster here. Yeah, that's why I'm trying to use the mirror to see maybe. Apparently, here. is that you? They've done something to me. Something's wrong with me 
now. Please, get away from here. No, we're only going to leave this place together. I'll try to get you out of this cocoon. So they've turned them into a vampire. This needs a key. So this is the second time, and of all the mistakes this game has made, which has been a lot, this is probably the smallest one, but it is the second time that you've been able to just kind of walk around a monster that by all means seems like it should have been able to turn around and kill you. And so it's only blocking part of the way and not the whole way. It's just a weird system. Two keys are needed, really. Actually, there are three keys needed in this area. That's ridiculous. A ridiculously large amount of keys going on in this game. Oh. We can't talk to Matt or do anything there. So, I don't, like, the bellows and all that, what is that for? Is there anything in these previous sections that I haven't used or interacted with? I don't think so. So, I need a hint. Again, it does say go back. What am I going back to, though? Like, over here, there's nothing to click on. So this is a good nexus point to ask for another hint. It is up here. Oh, I guess we still have the flower. Uh, bellows with the flower? Bellows filled with flower. And the please pass. What a ridiculous combination of things. Everything's been so straightforward up to this point. And now it's get... Oh. Get some flour. So that you can blow it on the invisible monster. Alright. I get it now, but... There needed to be some hint or dialogue there. So it's basically a daywalker monster with electronics built into it, maybe an invisible suit. What has this got to do with vampires? Nothing. Absolutely nothing. This this is ridiculous. Just out of nowhere, I wanted to draw a monster with a giant uh, sword hand slash chopping blade, butcher blade, and electronics. You could certainly make a game based around monsters like this, but this is not Dracula's legacy. Do I make him see himself in the mirror? No. Uh, and we have Bellows still. Ah, and this thing showed up all of a sudden. And it is the tomb key? Seems like the tomb key was right there. And we'll just click on everything to see if any of the other pieces fit. Nope. So just in the form of efficiency here, I'm just going to click everything time it has a chance of potentially fitting. There we go. It seems to rotate in different directions if you're slightly to the left or slightly to the right, but I'm clicking in the middle. So this puzzle showed up out of nowhere and then that apparently defeated him. Mirror can reflect the light, right? Well, alright. Now 
we can put them here and there. That's nice, I suppose. Gets us in this area. And what's there? Something can be installed here as well. Take the panel key. think there's anything else I can do. So do I use the sun's rays on him perhaps? So if this is called the panel key it probably works here. See now this is gross and has nothing to do with what you would generally assume is Dracula's legacy. It seems like they, they've just gone in a weird MC Escher uh, direction now this it's totally unexpected and kind of unwelcome the key wasn't even the right orientation that time so bellows to heat it up now that the gate is open as if I couldn't do that through the gate and now this is losing what if I direct it towards the creature Alright, fine. Gross. That's kind of nasty too to kill the creature. So is he just gonna sit there the rest of the game? I bet he does. Sorry, I can't stand up. You must leave alone. The weird man over there will wake up very soon and then both of us will be lost forever. So he hasn't even figured it out. Best to make sure he never wakes up. Alright. And then here we have a shield that will reflect. And that's the last item, and I think that's the end of the game. Too, if I was to guess. We're gonna reflect the light on him and kill him. I'm so tired. Vivian, I've been waiting for your visit for 200 years. The prophecy came true. Take this. It belongs to you. Thank you, beauty whose name I don't know. Hmm. Now my soul, that of Christopher Kelmendi, mayor of this cursed town, will be at peace. What weird way to say that. Weird dialogue. Remember, her eyes glowed blue at one point. He still looks like a vampire to me. Sounds like there might be a heart in there so yeah they they're leaving it open for Dracula's legacy too uh, unfortunately I have to say for any game even a simplistic very non ambitious point-and-click adventure hidden object game hybrid that that is actually quite ambitious and this game was actually rather ambitious with its animations too they really dropped the ball in a few places and in general they just don't understand varied game design like how many times did we need a key how many times did we need to find some source of fire how many times did we need a knife how many times did we need something that would make a hole and something it's just the same things over and over and over again in very unimaginative ways it was super easy at the beginning and then it got rather impossibly difficult near the end. Uh, we really need to see the credits here. And 
There are no credits. Wow. What way to play up your game, people. There's, as far as I can tell, no credits in this game at all. Uh, ridiculous. The music at the beginning here is probably the best part of the entire game, and they, they probably just bought it. I wouldn't be surprised if all the animations were shopped out to some other company, and that would explain why there are such good animations when they really didn't need to be. Uh, in all honesty, they would have had a better game if they had not made any animations at all and just focused on hidden objects and point-click adventure puzzle games, uh, puzzles, and explaining it, writing the story better. Uh, to explain the story, I assume Vivian is some kind of immortal creature, probably a witch, maybe a vampire, and there was a prophecy that she was going to come back, and she's lost her memory at some point. She got that magic box, and that opens it up for a sequel, but it doesn't really matter. It's not like the story was super good here. Nor was it really the focus. The focus should have been the gameplay, and the gameplay was lacking. And I like the voice acting. It's it's nice. They put a lot of polish on, on the game, but the game wasn't worth the polish, unfortunately. Uh, this could have certainly been a much worse game, though. So, on the scale of hidden object games, which tend to be probably the worst games y you can find versus... Uh, that I would even decide to play. There's always worse. Most hidden object games would have no voice acting, no animations, and a story that is much weaker than this. At least this one was following a standard storyline trope of trying to save someone you cared about, and we succeeded at it. Uh, we didn't end at a huge cliffhanger where we never even found that. That would have been very frustrating. Or where we just died at the last second, that would have been pretty bad too. Unless it was some kind of heroic death in which we saved Matt. Uh, but the name Dracula's Legacy on this doesn't make any sense because as far as we can tell, none of those characters were actually Dracula. Maybe maybe the final dra uh, vampire was Dracula, but he was never uh, named that character. And then they, the animations got really weird at the end with just weird monsters. I, I was willing to, to, to go with a daywalker concept, but we saw more weird monsters than we saw of uh, vampires by one or two scenes. And that seems, seems strange for a vampire game. Uh, and like I said, there's a strangely disproportionate number of hidden object games that go around the monsters uh, uh, genre. This could have easily just been have no vampires in it and do the same puzzles. Uh, it would have made a little less sense but not by much. Anywho, that's it for this series. It, this is probably I would say an average hidden object game or slightly below average. I'd like to say, I'd like to think it was below average, that even this game was not good enough for the massively well-developed genre of hidden object games, but sadly that's not the case. The truth is, hidden object games are the easiest things to make, and uh, because of that, Steam is full of bad ones of them. And that kind of sucks if you really like hidden object games, which uh, I don't hold that against anybody. It, it is kind of a good thing. Where's Waldo's style of gameplay? It's like, can you find the items? Uh, I will say, I did like the fact that the hidden object puzzles themselves were super easy, and you were eliminating large amounts of things, and you were zooming in really close to the image instead of it being tiny little pixelated things. Uh, so, I think they probably did the hidden objects very well, but that would have been about a 20 minute game if we had just been all of those puzzles back to back. That's really what somebody needs to do though, is they need to figure out either a random way that elements can be randomly generated into a picture and then they tell you to find them, 
and so you can have an infinite pop number of hidden object games back to back with no story or the, somebody by hand makes hundreds and hundreds of hidden object games uh, often in the description of these you'll see this has 40 scenes and 8 puzzles or 40 puzzles and 8 scenes or some numbers like that but the numbers really should be there's a hundred puzzles, 200 puzzles, 400 puzzles, 500 puzzles, uh, 365 so that the game potentially you could do one uh, hidden object puzzle every day for a year if you wanted to because it is kind of that crossword puzzle style of game in the same way that people who do crossword puzzles out of a newspaper or something probably would do it either once every day or once every Sunday on the weekends uh, so when you are offering hidden objects and you only have like 20 puzzles that's done really quickly anywho that's it for the series I guess I don't really have much more to say as always I ask you to like share subscribe comment if you want to and watch every second of my videos all that helps me with youtube tells them that my videos are worth watching if you want to support me even further than that you can click on my name right over that'll take you to my main youtube page on the right there's a blue button that says support this channel you can click that and make a donation which would be very much appreciated also on my main youtube page is a playlist tab you can click that and see a playlist for every game I've ever covered and then finally down below in the description box I have links to all my social media sites like Facebook Twitter tumblr Google Plus steam and bell.net so friend and follow me on all of those things that helps me with those services and it lets you know when my newest videos are available thank you for watching have a good evening